Okay? Magsasalin tayo ng tubig at titingnan natin ang ating detection para malaman na puno na ang lagayan ng tubig. O oh, ayun, umilaw na at nag-alarm na. Effective. Okay. Welcome to another episode of Mango Say Robotics and for today's topic, ang pag-uusapan natin ay ang isang water level sensor model CP4510 Ito yung sensor na pwede nyong gamitin para malaman natin kung puno na yung tubig or at the same time, wala ng tubig or any liquid na gusto nyong i-measure sa inyong mga projects, okay? So, itong sensor na to ay napakamura lamang nito at mabibili nyo through online sa inyong mga paboritong shops katulad ng Lazada Shopee at iba pa. Meron tayong link dito sa video description na pwede nyong i-click at kayo ay mag-redirect sa mga pages na ito. Okay? And in few lines of code gamit ang Arduino ay mapapagana na natin ito. So ano pang hinihintay natin? Let's do it! Okay. Ito yung ating diagram and ang gagamitin natin ngayon ay uh, Arduino Uno. Okay? And meron tayong sensor. Okay, ito yung ating sensor. So, itong sensor na to is actually normally normally uh, open. No? Meaning, kapag nakababa itong part na to, okay, yan siya, uh, magbibigay ito ng value na zero sa ating board, sa Arduino. And, kapag tumataas na yung tubig, so, plastic siya na madali lang maitulak, no? Pag dumating siya sa part na to, magbibigay ito ng value na one. Okay? So, Dalawa lang yung wire nito, okay? This one. So, yung kahit na anong side ng wire, pwede nating uh, gamitin, no? Pwede magkabaligdad, but I mean, okay? So, kunin natin yung isang end ng wire and uh, ilagay natin sa pin number 2, okay? Ng ating Arduino board. And yung isa namang wire is ilagay natin sa any ground pins ng ating Arduino board, okay? So... Uh, for the sake of, uh, for the purposes of uh, demonstration, gagamit tayo ng LED, no? So, ito yung ating LED, okay? Uh, meron din tong uh, resistor para sa LED. And, ikakabit natin yung LED sa pin number 8, yung kanyang positive side through the resistor, and then yung kanyang negative side dito sa my ground pin ng ating Arduino board, Okay? So, yan lang yung ating magiging setup for today. And, ang ating plan is, whenever na ma-detect ng ating sensor na puno na yung tubig, gagawa tayo ng conditional statement na iilaw yung ating LED. And, kapag hindi umaabot sa ibabaw yung tubig or hindi pa puno, naka-off yung LED. So, after this demo, it will give you an idea kung ano yung mga possibilities na pwede nyong gawin using this sensor. Okay? So, let's proceed now to coding. Let's code our hardware and uh, i-open natin yung ating Arduino IDE. Okay? And before we begin typing our code, we need na i-download yung ating library for this sensor. Okay? So, to do that, uh, open your browser, internet browser. And then, uh, let's download yung ating library. Okay? So, yung link ng ating library ay makikita nyo sa description down below. So, once nakita nyo at nakapunta kayo dito, just click this. Okay? And, i-download natin. Okay? Yan. So, nandyan na siya sa ating downloads folder. Okay? Let's close that and let's go back to our Arduino IDE. So, before we begin, i-install natin yung ating uh, library by clicking sketch, include library, and add zip library. Okay? So, 
Maalala nyo, yung dinownload natin ay nandito sa ating downloads folder. Okay? This one. So, ang gagawin lang natin ngayon ay atin tong i the double click. So, makikita nyo, library installed. So, to confirm na nandito na nga yung ating library, you can check it by clicking file, examples, and down below, you will see CP4510 master. And you can check yung sample code niya, sensor test. Uh, tingnan natin. So, this is the sample code na i-upload natin and magagamit na natin sensor. No? So, we just have to change this kung saan natin ilagay yung ating digital pin sa sensor. But, uh, we, don't, we will not be using this. So, i-close ko to and let's start working on our code. Now, the first thing we need to do is, of course, we include yung library. No? Okay? So, let's type include zp. 4510.h Okay, oh, sorry. zp4510.h Yan. And then, we will uh, declare a sensor, yung ating kinabit kanina, and if maaalala nyo, nilagay natin yon sa pin number 2 ng ating Arduino board. no? So, and we will also assign a name for our pin. So, it's up to you kung ano yung ipapangalan nyo dun sa sensor nyo. But in our case, we'll just name it Water Level Sensor 1. Okay? So, nilagay natin yon sa pin number 2 ng ating Arduino board. Okay? Then, <clears throat> we can now go to our the setup, void setup. And to our void loop. Okay? That's it. That's basically it, no? So, madali lang by using the ZP4510 library. Okay? Now, uh, para makall natin yun, no? Uh, we will declare an integer. And we'll name it, let's say, water status. Okay? Water status. Kayo bala kung anong gusto nyo name ng integer. But then, ang value nito ay yung ating dineclare na sensor. Yung kinabit natin sa digital pin number 2. Okay? And then, we will call water level function from the library. No? Okay? That's it. So, kung yung type natin dito, yun din yung type natin dito. But this one is a function from this library. Okay? So, this will give a value dito sa ating water status whenever gumagalaw yung sensor. Either puno na or nag up or nag down no? Okay? So, in that case, to check, no? We can now put our conditional statement with this. Okay? So, let's try if this one, yung ating water status. Kasi kung ano man yung value nito, mapupunta sa water status. Okay? So, if water status is equal no, to 1. No? Okay? Then, ito yung gagawin niya. Pero kung hindi equal 1, no, do this. Okay? Pero kung hindi 1 ang value ng water status, else, ito naman yung mangyayari. Okay? So, as I've said earlier, uh, ang ating sensor ay open circuit. So, meaning, Kapag nakababa yung sensor at walang water, ang binibigay na value sa atin ng sensor ay zero. Okay? Zero. Pero kapag umangat na yung water at puno na yung tubig, ang value ay one. No? So, in this case, we will check if one yung value ng sensor. Okay? Meaning, puno na yung tubig sa container. So, we can type anything na pwedeng mangyari dito. Anong gusto nyo mangyari kapag puno na? Let's say, uh, turn off the motor or start the alarm or maybe send an SMS and any other things na pwede niyong maisip and at the same time kapag hindi naman puno yung tubig we can just leave this blank kasi ang inaantay lang naman natin dito is mapuno yung tubig okay but if you have any other ideas you can just add else no so uh, let's try by putting Katulad ng sa ating diagram, gumamit tayo ng red lead. Okay? 
So let's go back to the on the section above and let's define our lead. Okay, so let's type constant integer. I'm sorry. We will type define red lead. Okay, and if you remember, we attach it to digital pin number eight. Okay, and then the setup. Of course, since my lead tayo, we will just type pin mode. Red LED output. Okay? Yan. Para magamit natin yung ating red LED. Now, para umilaw yung red LED natin, within the program, we just have to type, okay, let me fix this. Oops. Water state else else. Okay. Yan. So, para umilaw yung ating red LED, after declaring it as an output, we can simply type, you know naman this, sa mga nakadaan na sa mga first part ng ating tutorial series, all you have to do is just type digital write red LED high. Like that. And if gusto nyo naman mag-off, you just type low. Okay? So, for our application, what we want is, Kapag na-detect ng ating system, na, ng ating sensor na puno na yung tubig, ang action na gagawin niya ay i-turn on niya yung LED. No? And if hindi pa puno or hindi pa napupuno, else, yung LED natin ay naka-off. Okay? So, let, ito basically yung pinakang code para matesting natin yung ating sensor. Okay? So, let's upload this. Okay, after nating ma-upload ang ating program, ngayon ay test na natin ang ating setup. What will happen is, lalagay natin dito ng water and eventually, madidetect ng ating sensor. No? So, once na-detect ng ating sensor, ang ating red LED na nakakabit sa ating board ay iilaw, telling us na puno na yung tubig. Okay? Kung ititesting nyo by hand, ayan, may ilaw siya. No? But this time, I-test natin with actual liquid or water. Okay? So, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, malapit na. Almost. Ayan na, mapupuno na. And, ayun, umilaw na yung ating LED. Okay? So, with this idea, I hope na marami kayong pwedeng mapaggamitan nito. Kung nagustuhan nyo ang video na to, huwag kalimutang mag-like, share, and subscribe. I-hit nyo na rin ang notification bell para patuloy kayong updated sa mga darating pa nating videos. So, see you on the next episode. Bye!